Good morning, Internet. Lovely Wednesday morning here. Um, okay, so we're going to crack on with the 550 today. Uh, just out of interest, uh, took the 600 for MOT this morning and she passed, so that's all good, which is why the garage is a bit wet, really. It rained all the way there and all the way back, so uh, didn't really get to uh, stretch her legs much, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It's gone through, so it's got a 12 months ticket now, so... Hopefully I'll get some days out on it here and there. It's running much better now that it's had a bit of a run as well. So uh, tick over seems far more even um, and a lot smoother. I did have a moment when uh, about a mile into my journey, uh, I thought it was breaking down, but I think I'd just got the fuel on the main tank rather than reserve. And I think I just run out of fuel. So uh, back onto reserve and she started up really quickly and uh, got me there no problem so i've filled it up with fuel now and uh yeah it's uh, going well anyway 550 so um dropped the tire off hand on the front one i've decided i'm just going to leave that one as it is but i dropped the i took the uh, wheel and rear wheel and tire to uh, those lovely people at tt motorcycles on rosal industrial estate in turnhill yesterday and um Tom uh, replaced the valve for me. I, um, before I took it down, I pumped it up really hard to, I don't know, 36, 37 pounds and went round it with a water bottle with some, um, you know, washing up liquid in and couldn't find a leak anywhere on it. No punctures, nothing in the tire at all. You know, I was really as thorough as I could be, I think. And went round the bead edging, uh, nothing, no leaks. The only leak I could find was around the base of the valve, and it wasn't leaking that much, in fairness, but uh, leaking it was. So um, I popped down to uh, CTT, and uh, Tom's uh, replaced the valve for me and pumped it up, and it's still up now, sort of 12 hours later. So uh, I think that's it, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that because, you know, it's nice to get a break every now and again and not have to buy something else. Because I'm well over budget, I think, on the 550. But the uh, it's a really good tyre. It doesn't look, you know, very used at all. The front one yeah. is uh, quite low, but, you know, there's still quite a bit of visible tread on it. So I just want to crack on and get it built up, really. So what we're going to do today is get the back end sorted, get the new chain of sprockets on, uh, Gonna have to do a little bit of paint work, I think, on that, uh, you know, on the uh, cover there that uh, um, the the rear brake uh, connects to. Um, give that a bit of a clean out as well. It's not ridged; it's just a bit of light surface rust. It's obviously just not been used for very long, uh, not for a while. So uh, hopefully that won't be too bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's crack on and see how far we get. Thanks.
internet so uh, that's it for today um, I've had enough for today so uh, yeah I'm pleased with what I've done uh, it's all coming you know it's all coming back together nicely so uh, I've got a full day on it tomorrow so it'll be a nice early start 8 a.m. start so I've got another two full days on it now Thursday and Friday um, to uh, you know really make some uh, headway I don't know if you saw the chain is about a foot and a half too long so it's a good job I bought the chain splitter really um, yeah I think the uh, the big thing's going to be the wiring but uh, yeah everything else is pretty much coming on now so there's not really a lot left to go on it um, catch up with me in the morning okay if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, hit the little bell icon and you'll get a notification every time I upload new content. Uh, please give me a big thumbs up if you're liking the videos. It at least tells me that I'm doing something right. Um, I suppose this is quite a critical time uh, in the build. Uh, everything's got to be just about right. Uh, because when it gets to the stage where I'm sticking the body panels back on, it's done then really, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing it. So, uh, yeah, stick with me. Thanks very much. Bye.